After a two and a half year hiatus, the Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon returned this weekend and it was great, even though it was a little rainy. Yeah, they everybody pushed through and history was made as thousands of runners crossed the finish line. Lucky for us, Chase Beefield joins us with one of the history makers, Amanda Martin, the first ever female overall half marathon winner. Congratulations to her. Yeah, Leslie, this is Amanda Martin. Amanda, thanks for joining us this morning out on our weather porch. It's fun to be outside. Absolutely. Um, and it's nice, very nice to be here with you. Now, the cool thing about Amanda is we went to high school together yeah. at Farragut yeah. and graduated in 2015. And actually, we both ran track. We did. And you did cross country mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And you were talented in high school. We all knew that. Thanks. But after high school, wh what, what did you get up to? Um, so I traveled a little bit around the world, and then I went to Emory University and I ran one year for them. But then after that, I um, moved to Israel and I moved to France, and I was just kind of all over the place, and then came back home to Knoxville to finish up my degree. You were inconsistently running, though, and yes. you were working through some injuries and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and just doing school. It was probably very stressful. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of things <laughs> going on and a lot of, like, not not consistent, not focused. But you finally got back to it. You got over those injuries. You got really back to consistent running when? Um, end of 2019, early 2020. So the, right when the pandemic hit, I was really starting to ramp up my training. Yeah, and so how long have you been doing this? And, and when did you decide, okay, I really want to, like, go for it? I think really back in 2017, I met my friend Gina and she really inspired me to pursue running but then I had some inconsistencies so really 2019 was when I was like I think I can do this and you found a really good running community in Knoxville yes. apparently we have a really good one here we do we do we totally do Knoxville Endurance and then just KTC organization they all are so supportive with runners beginners to elite and so you had a really good time yesterday first ever girl in history to win that half overall. I mean, we always have a man winner and a woman winner. What does that feel like? I mean, female power, right? I mean, girl yeah. power. Yeah, that's shocking. We have a lot of really good talent in Knoxville, so I was really surprised that I was the first, but I mean, I couldn't be more grateful. Um, it's a huge opportunity to share this sport with our community and continue to build it. So it was exhilarating and super fun. I just love to be out there. It was a huge accomplishment for you yesterday. Just real quick, what's next for you? Um, I'm training for my first marathon, and so uh, I'll run my first marathon in November and then hopefully hit the Olympic trials standard once they open the window. It's a lot longer, and I know you're hoping to keep that pace up that you had yes. in the half, and so I know you're going to do great, uh, and I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy to see you this morning. It's so good to have you out here. Guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Aw, go girl. We're proud of her, too. Tell her congrats for us. Thanks, Chase. I'm just impressed she got up early to be with us this morning after <laughs> oh, getting yeah. up early yeah. and running. Thank the you rest. for being out here. Thank They're you guys so much. <laughs> That's what happens when you know a Channel 10 reporter. <laughs>